All You Need to Know, the Bloomberg Quint podcast that prepares you for the day's business. Good morning. This is the All You Need to Know podcast on Bloomberg Quint and I'm Alex Matthew. Today is the 21st of October. In the top news, Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed the nation last evening and rather than the announcement of stimulus measures that a lot of people were hoping for, it turned out being a note of caution. The Prime Minister asked people to continue to be vigilant and to guard against the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic, especially with the onset of the festive season now imminent. He also promised that all 1.3 billion Indians would have access to the COVID-19 vaccine as and when it was ready. The message comes at a time when India is seemingly getting a handle on the spread of the virus. In fact, just yesterday, the Health Ministry reported that 46,000 new cases were added in the 24 hours to 8 a.m. That's the lowest daily addition since the 23rd of July. And while there is hope that cases will reduce further, there's also some trepidation because Europe is witnessing a second wave of the pandemic. Let's move on to the other news now, and this is a big one. The US Justice Department has filed an antitrust lawsuit against Alphabet-owned Google, accusing it of abusing its monopoly in search in the most significant antitrust action against an American company in more than two decades and possibly a century. Google, which controls about 90% of the online search market in the US, is the unchallenged gateway to the internet and used anti-competitive practices to maintain and extend its monopoly in search, according to the government's complaint which was filed yesterday in Washington. Google, meanwhile, has called the lawsuit deeply flawed. Back home, the markets regulator SEBI has ordered Prabhat Dairy to deposit just under 1,300 crore rupees in a special escrow account within seven working days. Minority institutional investors of the company, including TBS Sriram Growth Fund 1B and India Agri Business Fund, had filed a complaint with the SEBI stating that the transaction net proceeds from the sale of Prabhat Dairy's step-down subsidiary Sunfresh Agro Industries have not been distributed to the company's shareholders despite 17 months since closing of the transaction. Now, SEBI had earlier approved the appointment of Grant Thornton Bharat LLP as a forensic auditor of financial statements of Prabhat Dairy for FY19 and 20. We'll keep you posted on that story. Meanwhile, in the primary market, there's news. The initial public offer of Equitas Small Finance Bank was subscribed 39% on the first day of bidding yesterday. The 517 crore IPO received bids for 4.54 crore shares against the 11.58 crore shares that were on offer as per data available with the NSE. In international news, China has warned India against entering into trade talks with Taiwan, saying such a move would violate the One China policy that New Delhi has so far been supportive of. Earlier in the day, Bloomberg had reported that support is growing within India's government to formally start talks on a trade deal with Taiwan. In global equity markets, U.S. stocks rose, but only between a third and half a percent. And the three early rises in the Asia-Pacific region have started flat to marginally positive. I'm joined now by Holmes Fatakia, who will tell you all about the trade setup for the day in India. Morning, Holmes. How are we looking today? Good morning to you, Alex, and to our listeners as well. Today is the fifth day of Navratri, and a lot of people have told me that today's color code is royal blue. But the markets have a color code of their own, and that is green. And it has been the same over the last three trading sessions. Well, on to the stocks that will be in focus for midweek trade today. The much-awaited dividend announcement from Hindustan Zinc has finally arrived. The company announced a dividend of 21.3 rupees a share, which is the highest in over a decade, amounting to a total of 9,000 crore rupees. Now, how much does Vedanta get out of this? Just over 5,800 crores from its 64.9% stake that it holds in the company. 
Aside of the dividend, Hindustan Zinc's operational performance during the quarter was above Bloomberg consensus estimates and it has maintained that it is on track to meet its FY21 guidance. LNT Infotech is seen increased traction in digital, cloud and analytics space after its second quarter earnings. The company has announced a large deal with net new total contract value in excess of $40 million in the analytics business. The company's constant currency growth during the quarter was 2.3% and it has also declared a dividend of 15 rupees a share. By the end of the day today, one-fifth of the Nifty constituents would have reported their quarterly results as three more companies, Ultratech and the Bajaj Twins, Finance and Finserv, come out with numbers today. The non-index names that we would be keeping a track of include Sinjin, Colgate Palmolive and the much-in-the-news GMM Fodler. Away from earnings, Sipla has launched a generic Nintib, a drug used in the treatment against a rare lung disease. The drug is priced at 69 rupees a capsule for the 100 mg version and 85 rupees a capsule for the 150 mg version. Madison Sumi will be acquiring Bombardier's electrical wiring interconnections business in Mexico. The transaction includes the transfer of assets, employees and inventories on a debt-free, cash-free basis and is valued at around $10 million. I'd like to draw your attention to a small cement company called Shiva Cement, which has approved a proposal to set up a clinker and a grinding unit. The clinker unit will have a capacity of 4,000 tons per day, while the grinding unit will have a capacity of 1 MTPA. The overall cost for the same is pegged at 1,530 crore rupees, which is nearly seven times the company's market capitalization of just over 200 crore rupees. The funding will be done through a mixture of long-term debt and equity. Some takeaways from the key business updates that Kirloskar Oil Engines shared last night. The company said that there has been an improvement in the overall business performance for the quarter as compared to the previous one. It also said that the power generation business is recovering but the pace of the recovery is slower as compared to other businesses. And speaking of other businesses which includes exports, they have shown good recovery during the quarter according to the company. Tuesday was the day for Obra Realty. The stock ended in an upper circuit of 20% which was the biggest single day gain for the stock since its listing at the highest level in over 7 months. It was also the third straight day of gains for the company. Some other buzzing stocks and there is absolutely no stopping just dial. The stock ended nearly 20% higher on Tuesday and is up close to 50% in the last 4 trading sessions. I'd also like to highlight Balram Puccini, which gained close to 6% on Tuesday, ending at the highest level in two months. Early ticks on the SGX Nifty indicate that the index was flat around the mark of 11,920. Before you head out to work or before you log into work, do log into BloombergQuint.com to keep yourself abreast of the day's trade through our all you need to know copy and many other stories. With that, I wish you a safe day ahead and it's back to you, Alex. Thanks, Hormuz. And as always, thank you all for listening in. That's all we have for you on this podcast. But as always, there's a lot more on the website, BloombergQuint.com. So don't forget to check it out. This is Alex Matthew signing off. Have a great day. I hope you enjoyed listening to All You Need to Know. Did you know that you can listen to this show on the IVM Podcast app? On the IVM Podcast app, along with this, we have a number of other shows which you think you'll enjoy. Listen to Cyrus Says with Cyrus Brocha as the host. Listen to Pesa Vesa with Anupam Gupta. The Scene and the Unseen with Amit Varma or Shunya One hosted by Shiladiti Mukhopadhyay and myself. Check out the IVM Podcast app to get more talk content that you will enjoy.